Yo guys and welcome to a new review. Today we are talking about Michael Bay's new movie, Ambulance. After Michael Bay did not make any more movies about cars in Transformers, he decided to make a movie about a car in Ambulance. He's not just making a movie about just a car, he's making a movie about an ambulance and an ambulance having a car chase in LA. And if something is in this movie that I absolutely love, it's the car chase with an ambulance and a lot of police cars and helicopters in LA. Because you know what else is in LA? It's Grand Theft Auto 5. Los Santos basically is LA. So this movie basically is the closest thing we're gonna get to a GTA 5 movie than you can possibly imagine. I can't wait to go into Grand Theft Auto 5 and just have these gigantic enormous police chases when I am riding and driving in an ambulance. It really works and the end of this movie is like a grand shot, establishing shot, a horizon shot of LA and the first thing I and many others in my movie theater said was ha the maze bank because it actually is the maze bank and it's awesome so this movie is the closest thing we're gonna get to a grand theft auto 5 movie and it, i absolutely love it for that is it a bad movie fuck no i really enjoyed this movie is it a good movie also no it has a lot of michael bay problems let's talk about it more so apart from being GTA 5 the movie, this movie actually delivers quite an okay story. And so to say the story doesn't have a lot going on, it's just those two criminals trying to do a bank robbery which goes horribly wrong and they have to steal an ambulance with an ambulance woman still in it, trying to heal one someone that they also shot. So that is interesting. So the main gist of this movie is that they were trying to escape but they accidentally shot a uh, police guy. So you know when you kill a police guy, the police are going to hunt you down and kill your guts. So that is not the way you want it to go. So what they did is they stole the ambulance they were trying to steal. They threw in the police guy and the ambulance woman that was still in the ambulance had to heal that guy and had to make sure that that guy did not, didn't die. All the same time they were having this gigantic chase through Los Angeles and I must say that worked perfectly. Some things about the story that did not work as great as I thought and hoped it would be was the backstory of those two brothers because it just didn't sell it for me. It was okay what they did with it but it didn't hit me on a personal level, it was just there and they were talking about it too much and the main thing I liked about the story wasn't even about those two. It was about this uh, ambulance woman. What is her name? What is the name of that job? Let's just call it a doctor. The doctor. The doctor and what she did, that was phenomenal in this movie and that was the main thing I liked about it because when the movie started we had some things about Yaya Abdul-Mateen's character and then about uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character and those things were fine but it was when we were introduced to uh, the doctor and she actually had to save someone's life who had been in a fatal car, not a fatal but in a severe car accident, that was so intense already and I really liked it so having those pieces through this epic car chase actually was quite awesome and made me like this movie for what they did with it so why isn't this a good movie the performances also are really solid so it's not about the performances because Asa Gonzalez did a really great job Aya Yaya Abdul Mateen did a really great job but it's mostly the screaming of Jake Gyllenhaal that really sold this movie on the acting because Jake Gyllenhaal can scream like hell and he did a phenomenal job screaming in his movie and I loved his character for that. The police cop and the police force and everyone else was just okay and the police force did do some stupid things but there is one piece in this movie that actually broke everything that was good about it and that was the inclusion of this, of this crime gang and what they did to help our 
uh, not heroes, but more like criminals in this movie. So those guys and the inclusion of them in this movie really brought it down quite a bit. Firstly, because their characters were just plain boring and I did not care. Secondly, because they just didn't do anything fun or anything special and what they did was actually kind of bullshit. And thirdly, because they couldn't act, so they were actually quite bad. But the most annoying part of this is that they made this movie from going from a 90 minute movie to a 130 minute movie, adding like 50 minutes to it, which are just unnecessary. We really don't need their inclusion. If they left them out completely, this movie would have been like half the way it is right now, but it would still be a great movie, hence it would still a, be a better movie. So the inclusion of using them as the extent as they did was really Michael Bayish. He does this a lot, but if he didn't, he would have made a fantastic movie that I would deeply love and that maybe would have been one of my favorite movies of the year. Now it's just a movie that I do definitely like, but it's also a movie that I will not go watch in a movie theater again. I will watch until it comes out. I will wait until it comes out on Blu-ray and then watch it so I can skip over the parts with the gang because they were just not as interesting as I hoped they would be. So yeah, if this movie was solely about the car chase and about the brothers and about the doctor trying to save the policeman's life, this movie would have been perfect. This movie would have been an easy 8 out of 10. Now I just have to go with a 655 out of thousands or a 6.6 .6 out of 10. It's good, but it also has a lot of flaws bringing this movie down from me having a good, great time to just me having quite a good time. Have you seen Ambulance or are you going to watch it? Let me know in the comments down below because I am really excited to hear your opinion about it. I want to thank you for watching. Goodbye.